Good morning, Laurel here, Zone 4, Minnesota. Just want to film a little tour of some container recipes, some of my favorites. This hanging basket over here is probably my top favorite from this year. Uh, the basket itself is about 12 inches. It's pretty big. Um, it was a moss basket that got picked apart by the birds, so I took what remained of the moss in the frame and wrapped it in some landscape fabric that I tied off for this year and that's doing well. Um, also I line it with plastic with holes punched in it so that it uh, retains moisture. That's the number one thing with hanging baskets. Get bigger ones and work to help them retain moisture because they're hard to keep watered. Uh, recipe for this container, the trailing plant is Lofos Compact White. Really pretty. Um, I'll put a uh, list of all the plants in the description below as well as if you're looking for that. The lofos is really neat because it kind of uh, it wants to trail but also climb so it pops out of the top there. Um, this is verbena, I'm sorry it's superbena, um, white out, huge blooms, love that. We'll grow it again. I haven't grown it before that particular variety. And then the petunia is supertunia latte, which I've also been wanting to grow for a few years. It's hard to find for me, but I love that sort of burgundy brown throat. Um, this container, I do water it every single day, unless we're getting a lot of rain, but that has not been the case. We haven't had rain in weeks. Um, but oh, it's just so pretty. I love how lush it is. It's probably my favorite one that I've done over here. And then the laundry pole is nice and sturdy, so I can also have a real big, heavy hanging basket. Here's just a quick tour of this little shade garden area. This is a newer area in the garden. I'm fighting with creeping bellflower over here as a weed, but I think I've got it under control now. So just have some impatience, some begonias, some hostas, ferns. There's a juga ground cover. There are a lot of roots in here, so... Um, I have to be very specific in where my planting holes are. So that is that container. We'll work over this way. Those violas just self-seeded themselves from last year, and I'm trying to get some new ones to seed as well. Love those. Here's my other white container. Again, there's Superbino Whiteout with its humongous blooms. There is Lobularia Snow Princess Lissum here. I've grown that before. It doesn't go to seed. It just keeps blooming. So that one, that one's a favorite as well. Uh, over around this side, there's hippo white, hippo estes or polka dot plant. Um, kind of lost in here. I have a double up white begonia, but it's doing okay. This is the garden white caladium. I order those from Florida Boys Caladiums. Um, it's doing better now that the days are shorter and the sun is lower early in the summer. It was really getting burned a little bit too much morning sun over here. And then this is Proven Winners Browalia Endless Flirtation, the white one. Really pretty. That is a concrete pot that is probably about 16 inches or so. Um, so plenty of soil reservoir to hold on to moisture for that one. And... I just have all these sale begonias I have to show as well. Those are the double up red begonia. And then I got a whole flat of wax begonias for five bucks. So I planted, just packed this container full of white ones, container of pink ones, planted some in the ground around here too. Not too many weeks left, but for those prices, I'll enjoy it while I can. Moving on to the next container. This is another one of my top favorite containers from this year. It has been incredibly low maintenance. There are only three plants in here, three individual plants. It's about a 12 inch terracotta pot that they're planted in. It is the Supertunia Mini Vista Indigo. That one kind of has multiple colors. It starts out this sort of brighter blue purple, ages out eventually to white. I love the multicolor blooms on that. Um, the dark purple is Supertunia Mini, Vist, uh, Mini Vista Midnight. That one was new this year. Love that. Also have it planted in the ground, and it's gorgeous. This one is Supertunia Mini Vista Violet Star. 
I think from now on, if I am going to buy any kind of petunia, it will only be the Supertunia Vistas or Mini Vistas because they perform so much better. They stay full. Um, I do trim off, you know, when they get kind of long around the bottom, I do trim off the long legs and that helps keep it full at the top throughout the summer. But that is actually very minimally needed as long as I'm keeping them watered. Unlike a lot of the traditional petunias or even the regular supertunias, they get really leggy and you end up having to chop off all the blooms and, and then wait for them to flush out again. So I'm convert to the mini vistas for the last two years. <laughs> um, these containers, I also like how it works kind of with my blue container section over here. I love this salvia. This is um, salvia rock and blue suede shoes. It gets huge, but hummingbirds absolutely love it. Uh, so I will keep planting that. My Rudbeckia succumbed to a fungal infection. It was wilt, which I know has been in this soil before. So that's a bummer, but I won't be able to plant one for a few years. But I might put a salvia down here. This container has Superbina Sparkling Amethyst, which is a favorite. This is the Laguna Sky Blue Lobelia, which is amazing. That I, This has been planted since May in full sun, and it is still thriving and blooming and vigorous. Same with the Superbina. I have grown a lot of verbena over the last more than a decade, and the Proven Winter Superbina, Superbinas are worth the money. I have not been disappointed with any, well, just about all of them that I have grown. Um, this is the Salvia Unplugged So Blue from Proven Winners. Just okay. Um, it's a smaller size, but I don't think you necessarily need to go to, for Proven Winners if you want a smaller size Salvia. I've grown plenty of non-Proven Winners variety that do just as well. And this is a licorice vine, just a silver licorice vine not branded, um, just from a garden center. And then I have a red sweet potato vine over there as well. But this is the star for sure. Love, love, love that container. Um, this one is also really pretty. I think I've shown this before. Up here is Gumfrina carmine, grown from seed. I have two of them in there, two plants. Um, this gorgeous geranium is Calliope Mega Rose Splash. I love the Calliope geraniums. Um, down here I have Meizu, Trailing Meizu. That's one of my favorites too. Really drought tolerant, just not fussy at all. You don't have to do anything to it but plant it and keep it at least a little watered over the summer. This is another Super Tuna, tuna Super Tunia mini vista this one is called pink star it has been very full of flowers all summer i have had to trim it a little bit not too much it's not my favorite though because the spent blooms look a little bit messy so um jury's out on whether i will plant that one again and then this is the superbina raspberry this hot pink verbena here which i have loved this year that one is also fabulous Moving on. Kind of smushed in here against the table, but this has been an awesome container. Um, again, it's a 12 inch terracotta pot. I have it in a stand. So I have this Meizu trailing down. I have a repeat of the Super Superbina um, Sparkling Amethyst and the Super Tunia Mini Vista Indigo. I have trimmed that back to keep it full. Throughout the season, you can see the Meizu kind of poking through over here as well. I do have one of the Super Tunia, I think it's called Blue Skies or Sky Blue, something like that. Not nearly as vigorous. It kind of rebounded once I trimmed it back, but that one just hasn't kept up with the vigor of the other two plants. That is a beautiful container in there as well, in the blue color tones. And moving on, here in my green color family, I have really enjoyed this one. Um, the centerpiece grass is the Prince Tut 
papyrus grass from Proven Winners. Really cool. Haven't grown one of those before, but I've wanted to for a while. And they are thirsty. They're like water plants, but I just water it every day. I give it a good soak. It has done great for me. The container it is in is about a 16 inch container, maybe 18 inch at the most. Um, so it has plenty of root space as well. I have it planted with this plectranthus called Lemon Twist. This has been beautiful as a cut flower in a vase. It holds for weeks and weeks. And below it I have um, Sweet Potato Vine, Sweet Caroline Medusa. That is my favorite sweet potato vine because it stays so well behaved. It doesn't get all wild. I rarely have to trim any of them that I have grown over the past few years. Um, here it's kind of small because it's uh, covered, but it's just, or by the plectranthus, but I like how it has that different texture kind of hanging down there. And I do have <laughs> tiny little Pilea in there, but that is completely lost. <laughs> so, unnecessary, I suppose, once the plant's matured. Um, next to it, that is in a separate container, that is the Lime Time Coleus. And then next to that is grass, uh, Penicetum Skyrocket grass, so I kind of like the combination of all of them together, but my favorite individual container is definitely the Prince Tug grass with the Plectranthus. Over on this side, I kind of have a pink coral color story going on. Um, the big container, that is the Proven Winners Toucan Coral Canna. I bought that on super clearance, like 90% off at the end of last summer and just saved saved the rhizomes over winter. Actually, I bought it in the fall. And um, so now I'll have even more rhizomes to plant next year because it got nice and big. Down below I have, this is another sweet potato uh, medusa. Um, there is superbina peachy keen over here. This one's really neat. I have, well, I had two of them. I planted a third, so three total. This is the Supertunia persimmon, which is new this year. Um, mixed results on this one. It gets, it's really vigorous, but it gets leggy really fast, I have found. So I've had to cut mine back several times, and they never quite bounce back all that well. So I think I like it mixed like this, but... Um, it doesn't have the fullness to, for it to stand on its own. You really have to mix it with something. Um, that's why I ended up planting an extra verbena. I got a verbena once they went to clearance over here and planted it right on top of the supertunia because otherwise there was just a big hole of bare dirt where the supertunia was really leggy. And then around the back side, same thing. The other verbena, peachy keen, and another right around that side, another of the Medusa sweet potato vines. And that planter, I think, is about 18 or 20 inches. This one is about a 10 or 12 inch container, concrete container. Love the Superbina raspberry over here. It has done amazing. It is so full and beautiful, and that's just one plant. So I know proven winners can be expensive, but sometimes it's worth it compared to the competition is just so far behind. Um, and then I also have over here, this is a new Calibrecoa for this year called Super Cal um, Pink Lemonade. Also has stayed really full, done very well. I've done some trimming, but it's been minimal on there. I do have a Super Tunia Bermuda Beach back here. Wouldn't plant that again. I know next year they're coming out with an approved variety. Maybe I will try that if I can find it. Love that combination. Over here I have my red containers, which kind of surprised me with how much I actually liked them, liked how they turned out. Um, so they were a bit of a hodgepodge. <laughs> Uh, this little one down here, about a 10-inch pot, it just has two plants in it. There's Super Cal Red and Super Cal Tropical Punch mixed together. That also just have to trim off the ends when they get leggy. Um, and then I, you never water the foliage. Always lift up the foliage to water underneath 
with any super cow or petunia or anything like that. Um, and that keeps it nice and full on the top. This planter definitely was just thrown together by me. That is the um, Surefire Cherry Cordial Begonia, new this year. Started out really small. I was afraid it wasn't going to keep up with the other plants, but it really took off. And now it's, it's big and vigorous, gorgeous. Behind it, that is the um, Color Blaze Coleus Mini Me Watermelon. Uh, new this year also. I wanted to try it because it's a smaller stature coleus, so I have not had to trim that once this summer. It has just kind of stayed the perfect size. This salvia also. Um, not branded. I picked it up just at a local garden center. It's salvia mirage cherry red. I love the cool red tone, sort of a blue red. Hummingbirds absolutely love this salvia. I see them on here all the time. Um, so I will probably find a place to plant this again. I like how full it's gotten and how it's kind of mingled with the rest of the container. I also have a petunia down here, Sherfina red. Not, I mean, the blooms are pretty. This is what I'm talking about, though, with a lot of petunias and even supertunias. They get leggy like this, and in order to keep them full, you have to really cut them back hard. You can't just cut off the long legs. Um, so I won't be planting that one again. I kind of wish I had done another Super Cal Red here, but now I know. And then this, another one of my favorites. This is Lantana Luscious Royale Red Zone from Proven Winners. This is about the biggest, most vigorous Lantana I've ever grown, and I have grown them for years. So love that. Would recommend. I have another Super Cal Red in here. And then this is Super Bina Red as well mixed in. And then over in this container, I like half of it. I love this sweet potato vine. I believe it is the Sweet Caroline Raven or maybe Sweetheart Raven potato vine, but I love the color. It is so dark. It's almost black, just really dark red, really beautiful. Um, I did have to trim it early on in this season, but now it's kind of tamed itself and is doing really well. And this is a super cal. That's the other, th other petunia I will plant. Super cal are amazing. They're a cross between calibrachoa and petunia. Um, they are much easier to trim off the long legs and keep them full. This one is called uh, red maple. Um, they keep coming out with new varieties of those, so that, in addition to the Supertunia Vista or Mini Vista, those are the petunias I will be planting from now on. The centerpiece of this planter didn't turn out super great this year. I save this from year to year. Some years it does well, some years it doesn't. It's um, Canna Red Fruturity. It's essentially free because I've bought the rhizomes many years ago and just keep saving them. So I'll save it and who knows, maybe I'll give it away eventually. But yeah, that is my red, red container recommendations. And I will probably do a part two down the line with a few more. Thanks.